Chris Vaughn, a Special Forces veteran, returns to his hometown in Washington. The sheriff offers him a ride, which he initially refuses but eventually takes. Chris is welcomed by his family, including his sister, Michelle, and his parents. The next day, Chris repairs a staircase while his friend Ray visits. Ray reveals he's been clean of drugs and alcohol for 14 months. Chris and Ray go to a football game with their high school classmates including Jay Hamilton, who now owns the largest casino in the town. During the game, Hamilton's team plays roughly and Chris observes his nephew with a group of boys using marijuana. The game ends, but Hamilton's main man, Booth, intentionally injures Chris's knee. Chris lets it slide. Chris and his friends are invited to Hamilton's casino. Later, Chris tries to warn his nephew Pete to stay away from drugs, but Pete ignores him. At the casino, Chris and his friends are amazed by the environment with attractive ladies. Chris is given VIP treatment by Hamilton and taken to a private dancing booth. Chris is shocked to discover that the stripper is his former high school sweetheart, Denny. Upon recognizing Chris, Denny stops dancing and closes the shutter. Chris is upset to see her working as a stripper. After the incident at the casino, Chris returns to the floor and sees Ray playing a game. He then talks to his older friend Smitty who is gambling at a dice table. Chris realizes the dealer is cheating with loaded dice, but when he tries to confront the dealer, security is called and a fight breaks out between Chris and the bouncers. Although Chris initially fights back, he is eventually overpowered, tased, and brought to the basement where the head of security tortures him and leaves him to die. However, Chris manages to recover and gets help from a passing truck. He is then taken to the hospital where he eventually recovers and returns home where he spends time with Ray and Pete. One day, Hamilton visits Chris to apologize and offers him the head of security job at his casino. But Chris declines. Hamilton tries to convince Chris but he sticks to his decision and intends to file a report against the casino. In the following scene, Chris takes his case to the local sheriff Watkins, but is shocked to learn that the case has already been examined and there isn't enough evidence to take action against Hamilton's security guards or close the casino. Watkins explains that the casino is the main source of revenue for the town since the mill was closed, making it impossible to close or punish the owner. Chris, frustrated, leaves the station, vowing to expose the casino's illicit activities. The next day, after a meeting with Denny, Chris returns home to find that his nephew has suffered a drug overdose from consuming crystal meth, which was being supplied and sold by the casino security guards. Despite his father's attempts to stop him, an enraged Chris retrieves his old shotgun and drives to the casino. In the following scene, Chris calms himself and goes to the casino with a wooden log instead of a shotgun. He vandalizes the casino and fights off Hamilton's security guards with the help of the log. Chris takes back his locket from Booth and notices Hamilton observing the chaos before being surrounded by the police. He is arrested for assaulting the guards and damaging the casino. At the police station, Chris hires a lawyer but becomes suspicious and fires him during the court hearing. He represents himself and exposes Hamilton's illegal activities such as drug dealing and cheating customers. Chris then announces his candidacy for sheriff and wins the case with the help of his testimony and evidence of his injuries. The scene jumps forward to Chris winning the election and becoming the new sheriff. On his first day, Watkins suggests Chris keep the corrupt deputies, but Chris fires them and enters the station alone. Chris later confronts Hamilton and stops his car to check his license and registration. Hamilton mocks Chris and tries to bribe him, causing Chris to destroy the car's taillight and warn Hamilton to fix it. Chris then visits Ray and convinces him to join the police force to take down Hamilton's drug empire. Chris and Ray arrest numerous drug dealers, including Booth, and search his truck for drugs. Chris stays at the station to guard Booth while Ray goes home to protect his family. At night, Chris has dinner with Denny, who has resigned from her job at the casino, and the two share a passionate moment. The next morning, after not finding Booth at the casino, Hamilton orders an attack on Chris's family and the police station. Hamilton's men blow up Chris's truck outside the station. The story continues with the former deputies and Watkins attacking the station with machine guns. At first, Booth is glad to see Watkins, but quickly realizes his precarious position and pleads with Chris to let him out of jail. Chris takes advantage of the situation and forces Booth to reveal the location of Hamilton's drug factory. Booth, with no other option, reveals that the drugs are being made at the old mill. 
However, before Chris can release him, Booth is shot and killed. With Denny's help, Chris defeats all of the attackers including Watkins. Chris then goes to his home where he and his father with Ray's help eliminate the henchmen who attacked them. Once his family is safe, Chris goes to the timber mill, discovers the meth lab, and finds Hamilton waiting for him. Hamilton tries to kill Chris by lowering him down a trapdoor with mill machinery, but Chris drags Hamilton down with him and the two fall down a slide. Despite his injured leg, Chris outruns and overpowers Hamilton, defeating him in the fight. Chris arrests Hamilton and locks him up in prison. The movie ends with Chris closing the illegal casino and reopening the old timber mill, providing employment to the townspeople. Thank you for watching. Would you make a difference for your community if you could?